There's a neat little time-saving feature in Bridge CS4 called Auto Stack Panoramas and HDR. What it does is it creates a group of your panos or your HDR uh, photos, the photos that you shoot in a series and, and in succession. It creates a little group of those photos, so it makes it easier to manage, especially if you've got a lot of photos to manage. So if you want to download the lesson file, it's a zip file, you can unzip it and just place the photos into any folder. And uh, these are the images that we're going to follow along with. And I can create a stack manually. Just click on one and then shift click on the other one. And you can come up to the stacks menu and you can group them into a stack. And then you could see it just cuts down the clutter a little bit. And I can always expand the stack. I can see what's in here. But I know that I've always got this one nice little unit that I can drag around. This is my stack. This is the panorama. But it's not always that easy to see them because chances are you'll have, you know, three, four, five hundred photos in this folder and it gets a little bit harder. You can't just look at it like I did and stack them together. All right, so let's go up to the stacks menu and ungroup from a stack here. Start from scratch, navigate to the folder that's got any of the panos or any of the HDR images that you've shot and go up to the tool or the stacks menu and just choose auto stack panorama slash HDR and it's gonna go through and it's gonna examine the information that's inside those photos and it's gonna determine what should be in a stack and you can see here I automatically created that stack for me and then it left the photos that should not be in the stack it left those outside of it so it's taking care of the work for me again this is a simple example because you know I've only got a few photos in here but you can imagine if you've got four or five hundred photos this can be a big time saver because it keeps you from having to go through and figure out which images should be in the stack and have to do that whole process manually